In the previous two videos, I gave you an inverse uh, introduction to the inverse function, and then we did a couple examples. Um, so we talked about the inverse of a function, about how it's going in reverse, and that the x's and y's are interchanged. Uh, then we did an example of a parabola. We did it graphically to see what it would look like, and then did the same example algebraically. And then I did the inverse of this linear function. So if you haven't watched those previous videos, you can go back to those. But in this one, I'm now going to find the inverse of this rational function. So again, I'm going to think first and then show you the algebraic way and see if the algebraic way makes sense. So in this one, in the original function, you have 1 over x minus 4 plus 3. So if I was to take an x and put it into this function, I would go minus 4 and then be 1 over that answer and then plus 3. So if I'm going backwards, I anticipate the first thing I'm going to have to do is subtract 3 and then add 4 somehow. But let's see algebraically how that looks. So if I follow my steps, I start by writing down the original in function notation. You might skip this step and go straight to the y equals because we need the y equals version so I know which letters to interchange. And then the second step is to interchange your x and y's to write the inverse. So x now, instead of y equals, it's x equals 1 over, instead of x minus 4, it's y minus 4 plus 3. And we have to figure out then how do we isolate for y. So the first thing I've got to do is I've got this plus 3. So I'm going to go minus 3 or take it to the other side, however you like to think of it. It's going to be x minus 3 equals 1 over y minus 4. Now in this case, it is 1 divided by y minus 4. 1 divided by 1 y minus 4. So I'd like to take this whole thing and bring it over here. So I have to do the inverse and multiply it. Since it's divided by y minus 4, if I'm going to put it on the other side, I'm going to do the inverse, which is y minus 4 times x minus 3 equals 1. So that's the inverse operation I have there. So that at least gains me access to the y value. And it's at least it's not underneath the uh, root sign there. So it's a little bit more easier to isolate. But it's still being multiplied. This y minus 4 is being multiplied by x minus 3. Well, I'd like to get rid of that x minus 3 and take it to the other side by doing, of course, the inverse operation. So the inverse of multiplying is to divide. So I'm going to be left with y minus 4 equals 1 over x minus 3. And now I'm really close to isolating for y, but I have a minus 4. The inverse of that is plus 4. And I get my equation for the inverse. So I'm going to put it in function notation plus 4. And again, as I was anticipating from the original question, I was anticipating I would have to do the opposite operations. So there it is. I see a y minus 4. So I'm ex expecting a plus 4. And I've got that right here. Oh, sorry. That's my first step. My last step is to plus 3. So if I'm going backwards, I should have minus 3, which is this part, and then a plus 4, and it's underneath the function. And so I'm not surprised that this is the actual notation of the inverse. So um, some of you might do this in a couple of shorter steps. So if I was going to there from, let's say, this line to this line, you've got x minus 3 equals 1 over uh, y minus 4. You might do the 
times, bring this up, and times, and then bring this down uh, and divide all in one step. So bring the bottom up, it's y minus 4, and take the x minus 3 down, and that gets you to this line a little bit quicker. I'd be okay with that. If not, you can do the steps in between. And then you can just see it's y minus 4, so we got to do the inverse and go plus 4. Oops. That's minus 3. X minus 3, and then plus 4. And put it in function notation. All right, so there is a couple of examples. I'll let you go to your teacher instructions to get your practice homework. Thanks for watching.